sometimes we would, um, my coach would have us all just lay on the floor and visualize us competing our routine perfectly. And I said, you know, does this really help? Why are we lying on the floor doing this? But I realized that it did, and as I got older, I would do that even by myself, not just at the gym, but I would come home and lay in my bed and visualize me doing that beam routine, sticking the landing, catching my release moves. And even beyond gymnastics, I do that to this day. I visualize, I set my goals, and then I visualize and act as if I've already achieved my goals. I visualize myself giving a great speech. I visualize kids being inspired and going off and doing what they're supposed to do in life. So I, I still do it, and I think it's a powerful tool. What about in terms of your injury? What Did you use any of those? I know some athletes use, they, they see some someone plastering over the you know, the bones to heal them, or did, did you try any of that stuff? I'm a strong Christian, so I definitely prayed a lot. I, I definitely prayed a lot and just asked God to heal me. And I saw myself being the same gym as I was before. I saw myself being the same track and field athlete I was before. I, I saw myself being the same person I was before. And so I guess I could use that as a visualization technique, knowing that God was going to heal me, I was going to be fine and I was going to still move in the direction I wanted to do. I find a lot of people don't follow through with what the doctor says. Like if they give you physical therapy, they forget to do it or they don't want to do it. What was your experience in following through on helping with your recovery? You have to understand this is why I go back into setting goals. I knew that if I had to get to where I wanted to be, if I wanted to get to where I wanted to be, then there were certain things that had to be done. Um, and so it does get hard. There were a lot of exercises I had to do for my knees. There was a lot of things that do I have to do this again? I've done this three times today. Do I have to do it the fourth time? But then I would tell myself, Raven, this is what you want and this is where you want to be. And if you're going to be the same gym as you were before, if you're going to be where you want to be in the future, even better, then this is what you just have to do. And because I knew the purpose in what I was doing, it was easier for me to do it. Right, that self-talk is critical. Go to sportsmentaltoughness.com to get your free video training and guided visualization MP3 on how to perform under pressure. I'm Craig Sigal, the Mental Toughness Trainer.